Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the January regular BAM box, which if you watch the unboxing for the horror BAM box from January, then you know that the boxes were running late. So this one actually came the day after. Um, so that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, it's funny because I know also in that video I was talking about how the US Postal Service has had a lot of issues lately and they've been really messing things up for companies. Case in point, check out this nice damage. Look at this. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So they really messed this up. Um, it's not messed up to a point where I would necessarily be like missing an item, so everything should still be in there, but the print and or autograph, you know, could be squished in the corner, messed up. Hopefully not, but good job, U.S. Postal Service. Literally was talking about how bad you are, and then you just prove the point the next video. Garbage. All right. So, did not get any one-ups in the horror one. Oh. So this time they put the spoiler sheet thing on the top and the horror box was on the bottom. I'm just gonna set that aside. The spoilers are actually on the bottom. I don't wanna see it yet. Tissue paper for my cat. She's gonna be excited about that. Oh, and my pin fell out. But it fell face down, so I haven't seen it yet, so I'm throwing it back in. Let me feel around. Ooh, I think I got a one up. I did get a one up. I don't. I don't think I've ever looked up or paid attention to what the colors mean because I know they have like a red, a blue, a green, a yellow. I'm hoping maybe this is the pin because you know me, I'm big on the pins. All right, so first thing, uh, the prop replica, which I'm usually not huge on them. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, for all you Game of Thrones fans out there, here's a good prop replica. It is the... Yeah, it's a pin for the hand of the king, which there are numerous people who end up wearing it. Look at that. The detail on it's really nice. As you can see, they have like a regular pin uh, backing right here, so you can just, it's just one pin. But this thing's actually a little heavy. Look at that. That's really nice. Uh, there's good detail on it, kind of heavy. Look at that. Yeah. This could really like go with someone's uh, costume if they wanted for Halloween. That's pretty good. That, that's a nice prop replica. I, I will give them that. That one's a solid one. Next thing feels like a coin. It is a coin. It says, in God we trust. And then it's all screwed up on the other side. Oh, this must be from Batman the Animated Series. I know they were going to have something from that in here. And this must be Two-Faces coin. Because um, you know there was a double-sided coin and the one side was just scratched up to denote heads versus tails. So heads and then tails, it's the same thing, but it's all like marked up. That's a pretty cool one. I uh, kind of wish they would have given us one of those like floating frames that they've done with some things. You know, the ones where it's like two pieces of like clear plastic that you like seal to hold it floating. Uh, that would have been good for something like this, but... Um, that's a pretty good one too, actually. People who are into Batman the Animated Series all about Two-Face, that would be a really good one. So, that's pretty good. The pin. <sighs> I love the pin, so I hope it's really good. Mm, I don't get uh, Walking Dead. Okay. Sorry, I don't watch The Walking Dead. Oops. I'm not a big Walking Dead guy. I watched like the first season and then bailed on it. I've read some of the comics. So, you know, it's just not my thing. I guess this is Rick Grimes is my guess. Because that's the only person I've like kind of seen. So I'm assuming that's Rick Grimes all like bloodied in his fight against the zombies. Is this the variant item? I can check. It is not because it doesn't have a number on the back. So this is just a normal one. So my one-up is still to come, I believe. All right. We have the fan art print. It is by Logan Pack, and 
It is. Oh, it's Stranger Things. Oh, this is nice. I got number 955 out of 2,000. This is a nice print. Look at this. Look at this art print. I'm trying to get as much glare off it as possible. You can still see it through the glare there. But look at this. It's got like everyone. There's Eleven, there's Hopper, there's Will's mom, all the kids. My favorite character from season two, Steve, the babysitter. Look at that. It's even got the uh, creature in the background, if you can see. It's pretty cool. That's really good. And obviously it's signed. It's always signed. So this is 955 out of 2000. Logan Pack, good job. That's a cool art print. That's going up on my wall. I like it. And then that probably leaves us with just the autograph left. Yes. And actually, it looks like none of my stuff got damaged, so that is very fortunate. Autograph. Derek Arnold, who played Vober Dand in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Okay. Um, I'm going to say something terrible right now. I haven't even seen The Last Jedi yet. Ugh, sorry, everyone. Um... Yeah, he, he was just like in one of the creature suits, it looks like. So I haven't seen the movie, so I wouldn't know where this character is. I'm assuming he's not a very significant character. Um, they've been getting a few uh, Star Wars autographs from a bunch of the different films, and it's always been these types of characters, like the very random, you know, gets barely any screen time people in costumes autographs. Which, you know, is fine. It's good for, like, super hardcore Star Wars fans. That's cool. I understand, you know, they're a subscription box. They can't get, like, a Mark Hamill or anyone like that. Or, like, Adam Driver or whatever. Daisy Ridley. To sit down and sign a bunch of these. It's just not going to happen. So, it's fine. Uh, it's just not my thing. Uh, now let's see what we could have gotten. Alright. Ooh. Actually, there were a bunch of different things that we could have received. Um, so what was my variant? I didn't get any. That's funny. I got a one-up and I didn't get a one-up? That's kind of weird. So, The Last Jedi signing, you see one of four autographs from someone who had a role in Star Wars The Last Jedi. And some people are, get a one-up, and it's supposed to be signed by, by, like, a bunch of them. So as you can see, by a bunch of characters, you can see right there all the different ones you could have gotten. See? Solid. Um, then there's the art print that we looked that we looked at. So it's pretty cool. And they put the, the description upside down, which is kind of funny. Uh, they look for the variant numbered out of 500. Okay, well, that wasn't my one-up either, so I didn't get a one-up on that. I didn't get my one-up, <laughs> actually, so I actually got screwed. I got a one-up card with no actual one-up in the box. So there were two variants on the art print, the normal um, colored one, and this one's kind of like more drab. It's like in blues and grays. Which looks cool, too. They both look cool. Then the hand replica, there's nothing special about that. The coin, the two-faced coin, there's nothing special about that. There were two limited edition pins for The Walking Dead. Zombie one, zombie, I know that's Carl, actually. So, like, zombie Carl, and sorry, don't know who that is. Um, yeah, so I had 250 and out of 50. And then uh, they're doing a giveaway for a Christian Bale signed item from Batman which would have been cool for someone to get um yeah actually this is uh that kind of sucks because I didn't actually get my one up item that it says I got a one up item and I didn't get one I'm gonna have to contact them about that that's that's crappy um so anyway uh overall really like this art print big fan of that not into the walking dead but the pin the like always, the pins are always really well done, so I like it. Like, I love the art of it. It's good. This, I don't really care for it that much, but I can probably find someone I know who will really enjoy it. Um, I'm not being into the prop replicas I was saying in the beginning when I was opening the box, but the the 
Hand of the King pin is really cool. And as really is the, the two-sided coin, the two-faced coin. Um, those are good prop replicas. Some of the best, in my opinion, that they've done. So um, overall, I like the box. It's a good box. Um, I just have to contact them about this issue. But um, it's a good box. They didn't, this was supposed to be their anniversary box, their two-year anniversary box, which they, I don't think they really went like all out for it, which they did last year. They did for their one year. They were like trying to bring back like all these things that they had had in before and what was popular and cool. But I know they've been moving facilities. So they were in Arizona. They're moving to Texas. So I'm sure they didn't really have much time to put all that stuff together. So nothing really special for their anniversary. But there is kind of like a little letter from their founder, CEO, uh, Adam MacArthur, who seems like a pretty cool guy. So anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for checking out this unboxing. As I, as it probably seems anytime I unbox a band box, I recommend this if you have the, the funds to throw out to, to get these boxes. I recommend the horror most if you're a horror fan like me, uh, but this is always cool too. So once again, thanks for checking it out, and until next time, keep it brutal.